And welcome back to The Long Run, where we are finishing Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Last time, um, things got kind of bad. And um, Luna has fully awakened as the as an evil version of the goddess Alpina. And uh, now it's up to us to basically stop her and also stop Galleon. Because right now, underneath us, the entire green earth of Lunar is being drained away by this en enormous palace. And, uh, yeah, that wouldn't be ideal if that continues happening, so... Let's get this going. But from the looks of it... Okay, yeah. So I guess these are all gonna be kill rooms. Although I don't know why it has to like fade in and out like that. Well, there's one good thing about every room being a kill room is the fact that it's going to basically force us to get experience. And ideally we would want to be about level 43 for this uh, next boss. There's Kyle's level up a bit later than everyone else's, but that's fine. He just needed a moment to get drunk, I guess, before he finally learns something and levels up. And Nash levels up. One more left in this room. You know you're running out of ideas for uh, for names for your enemies when you just call your spellcaster spellcaster. Ooh, that was a weakness though. Good job, Mia. Okay, um... Let's see... They didn't want to get the items here because it's pretty much going to be the best items for everyone. Um... This path north to a small room. Are going the right way? I don't know that this is the way that the guide meant for me to go, because it says go north and get a chest. You need to go over here? Well, there's a chest here, so... It looks like every room is going to be a kill room. Even if they're out of the way, which... Okay, fine.
Ooh, that was nasty. That was not as nasty. But we're definitely going to need to heal up Kyle. And there's the heal litany. Again, the advantage in uh, doing full automatic. Why are you guys trying to melee? Seems like a silly idea from that distance. Oh, I didn't need to kill everyone, just the spellcaster. Anyway, there's the locker armor. Maybe that's maybe that's gonna be the case for all of the rooms. Get some heals out, and uh, you get to be a little less insane and a little more lacquer. Panoply from Antiquity. Also, let me just... Uh, ah, real quick. Alright. Cal would probably prefer the liquor armor. In five minutes, we bring out the liquor. I am the liquor! Oh geez. This, uh, flashy son of a gun. If I'm right, the door is going to open. Yeah, okay. So I don't necessarily have to fight everything, I have to fight the spellcasters. Uh, anyway, dragon staff, that's going to be for you, I believe. Oh, that's going to kill your agility. That's more like what you're wearing now, the, the gale staff is boosting your agility. Harnesses Dragon's Power. Holy crap! That is plus 60 wisdom. <laughs> She's gonna be spellcasting like a friggin' beast. She is so smart. She is so smart. SMRT, I mean SMART. I still love the story about how um, that SMRT read was actually a mistake, but it fit in so well that they just kind of decided to keep it.
Okay. Easily taken now. This whole thing is kind of annoying. I feel like it might be a limitation of the of the engine or something. Arcane garment. But who wears garments? That is you. The arcane garment. Pretty good deal of resistance there. Althena's fey fabric. Like, oh my god. I should say, oh my goddess. these spellcasters. Cast this. It's probably going to be Mia. We do another four defense. Not a whole lot, but uh, every bit helps. Okay, let's see. Is something wrong though? Over there! Luna! Alex! Galleon was distracted with preparations for some sort of magical ritual, so I... Took matters into your own hands and escaped. Good work! You're a brave woman, Luna. Let's leave this place, Alex. Luna, we can't do that! Don't you realize Galleon is trying to become the supreme ruler? If we don't stop him, he'll take over the world. What's wrong with that? With that, no. I don't see the problem. Luna? Whether it's Alfina or Galleon, we need someone to lead us. We can't just let such wretched human beings fumble about searching for purpose. We should be thanking Galleon for taking this enormous responsibility upon himself, not trying to stop him because of our misguided fears. Who thought? You're not Luna. Sure yourself. <laughs> what was that? Shoot. <laughs> Rice! What have you done to us, filthy wench? <laughs> I have cursed you with my magic, that's all. Oh, you poor creatures. You cursed us? Oh yes, and with a very, very nasty one too. In fact, the only way for you to, to remove my little spell is to defeat me. But the likelihood of that is, well, next to none. I'll be waiting for you above, so don't disappoint me with your efforts. Then again, you may just die along the way. Rice! Pleasant dreams, everyone. If you fail to wake up, then I guess your rest will be an eternal one. <laughs> what spell did she cast on us, Alex? I don't feel any different. Hmm. Well, I guess let's just keep moving on for now, since, uh... Nothing obviously different, anyway. It's 
Starlight Bow, which probably goes to Nash. Legendary Bow of Light. Neat. So here's the twist. Um, yeah, Nash is asleep. Pretty much every fight from now until we actually get around to fighting Royce, um, there's randomly going to be uh, characters that will enter battle asleep. Uh, I think there's a maximum of two characters that uh, can be cursed in, in uh, one fight. In this case, it's just Nash. And of course, once he gets, a once he gets attacked, uh, he'll wake up anyway. And Jessica levels up. Mia levels up. You know what? We haven't fought any of these like lizard-looking dudes. Let's uh, let's try them out here. Oh, geez! I didn't realize Nash was basically almost dead. I guess I was looking away while uh, Nash had received near mortal damage. Oh, wait, when did you get four attacks? I've forgotten that you had four attacks. Also, why are you guys not doing anything? I don't understand why uh, Alex and Mia just kind of moved forward and didn't attack. That's the way to do it. Now, wakey wakey, Nash. You slept through the whole thing like a scrub. Um, we want to keep going. We want to try to stay on the same floor as much as possible. Right? finding out here to try to get all of the chests. Because going up is going to be full of progress. We want to go forward, not backward. Upward, not forward. And always twirling, twirling, twirling toward Nash being asleep for the third time in a row. Also, I'm noticing that no one is using their uh, skills and stuff. Like, what is going on? Ouch. That's weird that she only died after the fight, uh, like after the uh, attack finished. Oh, this is real bad, actually. <laughs> I think I want to assume manual control for this. Um...
You know what? You just take care of yourself, man. Just don't die, is what I'm trying to say. Like Nash is about to. Yeah. Oh boy, this might be uh, this might be a wipe. Fortunately, Alex is a friggin' tank and nobody attacked me. Also interesting that um, Nash just uh, woke up with 10 health rather than just one, which isn't gonna do much really in the grand scheme of things, but it looks like Nala's a little stronger now. Is that going to be enough? For one of them at least. There we go. We survived. That's the important thing. I just start moving to the right here just to avoid that guy attacking us while we're still nearly dead. Okay. Well, this is dire. More dire than the direst of docks. Substantially less dire. Holy mace. Holy mace? Uh, that's probably for you. There it is. Has healing properties. I wonder what kind of healing properties. Can I like attack my party members and like... Like attack my party members for healing? Oh, there we go. Now we got two uh, party members sleeping. What I'm thinking it might be is that um, Jessica is going to uh, passively gain health every turn. Much like Alex has been doing. Alex has also been leveling up. Huh, that one is not a kill room. And you know what? We are approaching the boss here. We should probably try to gain a level here if we can. Ah. Uh, game. Hello. No, oh, the emulator hasn't locked. It's just the game.
Boy, oh boy, just everything is going wrong today. This, uh, this ain't great. Alright, well, the game froze. I guess, um, especially considering that this is a finish of my stream, I need to finish this game tonight. So, um, gonna stop the recording, and when we get back, we'll be around where we were, I guess. So, I'll see you in a bit. All right, we are back, and um, yeah, let's hope the game doesn't crash again because that was annoying. But uh, we got back here pretty quickly. Just thank goodness that this game has auto fight because, like, otherwise it would take a while just to set everyone's attack and all that. Actually, it almost looks like it's predetermined um, which characters are going to be asleep for a given fight. Because it seems like every time we fight the spellcasters, only Nash is asleep. That seemed unnecessary for just one dude. Cold blow on Nash, who is asleep, so he's gonna take extra damage and die. But yeah, it does look like uh, Jess is uh, passively gaining HP, which is very good. Sure, everyone is not dead. Got Angel's Tear, but can't carry anymore. First time we get that message, and probably the only time. Yeah, and every time we get this uh, this setup, it's always Mia and uh, Kyle who are asleep. Oops, forgot to turn that off. Oh dear. This is gonna be bad. Yeah. Somehow Mia didn't die from that. Damn near. But she's still alive. I mean, she's still saying, Alfina, lend me your power, and it's still working, so like, I don't know. Like, where where is Jessica actually getting her power from is what uh, is my question here.
silverlight. Oops. Put a save here for absolutely no reason. Actually, before I move forward, I should probably actually use some starlights. No reason to skimp on those, really. Then save. Well, I guess we're not going this way. Looks like we passed your little test, you tattooed she-devil. Infidels, why do you fight instead of succumbing to the destiny I've foreseen? Because we know that our destiny is not under your control, Royce. <laughs> I'm afraid you're swimming in denial, dear child. As the tide is rising, I shall permit you to glimpse your end in a manner you can't deny. Well, guess we're dead now. Nope, we're not dead. How pitiful. Your fortunes are nothing but nonsense. That's right, you show us what you wish to happen. But you have no power over us, Royce. Our future is our own. The future isn't something to be told. It's something to be created. Silence! You shall pay a heavy price for your insolence, and I have come to collect your debt. Look at this jerk and her uh, own personal boss music, I guess. Have we heard this? I don't think we've heard this boss music. Uh, anyway, let's, uh... Oh. Four Dragon Blades, Supreme Dragon Master Art. Neat. But first, we need to buff up. Uh, so you're going to use, uh... Thunder Rain. Thunder Rain. I'm gonna have you use Purity Litany on Mia. How's she plan to win if she's on fire? Snake Woman on fire. Six hundred damage exactly. Cross bridge. Oh. Well, that woke up Kyle anyway. <laughs> For better or worse. Um. I'm gonna hold off on using four Dragon Blade for a turn. Um, and I'm going to have Jessica use Divine Litany. You're gonna do Endow Weapon. And you're gonna do Shine Blade. No. Um, you're going to heal yourself so you don't die. <laughs> yeah, I figured there was a chance that uh, Alex was going to act first. And I want I want I want him to be double buffed before uh, unleashing his new attack.
and just be just be mindful when I do unleash his attack because I don't know if it's gonna be flashy or not. Yikes. Oh, she's still alive though. She's still standing. Better than she ever did. Well, maybe not. She's down to 30 health. Okay. I'm gonna do heal at me. I'm gonna do endow weapon on uh, Kyle. And you're going to Shine Blade. Actually, no, you're going to do Power Slash just for the same reason as I had Alex uh, delay his attack. Yeah, Kyle attack first, so. Cross Bridge again. Yeah, that she attacked before. Uh, Jessica got to, so... Here's a new attack for Dragon Blade. Ooh. It's like 1600 damage. All right, sword dance, thunderbolt, miracle lick me on on Mia, and uh, I'm just gonna use the shine blade now. I would have liked to wait until every until he is like fully buffed up by Mia, but I mean, we've already had her wait several turns. Uh, had him wait several turns. The good thing with Miracle Litany is that it does uh, heal to full. Unfortunately, uh, she's no longer under the effect of the Divine Litany. I'm just gonna hope that uh, Jessica can heal herself before... Actually, I'm tempted to use uh, item. I think items are faster. Items tend to be faster in RPGs, honestly. Uh, you're gonna use double spell, and you're gonna power slash. Yeah, sure enough. I mean, normally I'd be a little conservative uh, toward using items, but like, we were able to fill up on items at the buffet, so... She hasn't used Iris Sludge yet, so let's uh, unleash that and hopefully we're able to keep Mia in the action here. I don't know 
how many attacks exactly is in uh, the power slash. This might not hit me. Yeah, that's going to target um, Kyle specifically. That didn't do a whole lot of damage, actually. I want to try a different spell. Let's calm with me. Maybe flame... actually... Good point. She's she's basically made of fire. Why am I using a fire attack? Let's use Ice Geyser. Okay. Make sure everyone is uh, healed up here. Wow, okay, yeah, that that was the solution. And great how the uh, the music ended right when uh, the fight did. 50,000 experience points, but we're still hungry. Uh, Silverlight, Alex levels up. Nash levels up. Jessica levels up. Mia levels up. And everyone levels up. Impossible. Can't. Be. Well, she's friggin' dead. Well, I guess what they say is true. Fortune tellers really can't see into their own futures. And uh, everyone's back to full health and MP, cause uh... We have an Alphina statue here, just for good measure, but we don't really need it. So I think we're coming up to the other part that uh, working designs kind of screwed up. Dragon Master, thou who wishes to gain passage within the Goddess Tower, think back and recall how you met each of the four dragons. Your memories of those encounters shall be required to successfully navigate this area of the Azure City. Um, actually, hang on. Okay, I see. So there's a white dot there, blue, black, and red. I think it wants us to uh, recount the order that we met the dragons in. the red. Then it was the blue. And the black dragon was lost. Oh, these guys look friendly. Good thing this is flash cut and not flesh cut. Because I don't think anything in this room 
Like, I don't think any enemies in this room have any flesh. Just made of like stone or something. Cool. Way to hit one target there. As it turns out here in the final area of the game, things hurt. Well, let's see if we can cool things down a little bit. Well, that definitely turned down the heat. And that should end this fight. Is the house made of flesh, or are they made of house? They scream, for they do not know. Okay, so here we are in uh, what the guy calls the hub. And this, this fight is the hubbub in the hub. And I don't know why Alex decided to, um, oh geez. I don't know why Alex decided to do a uh, regular attack there. There's clearly a lot of targets that we need to worry about. But sometimes the auto attack is um, questionable in its decisions. That's not great. Is that gonna happen again? It sure is. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Wow, okay. Um, assuming control. And he's doing it on Alex, who's going to heal everyone. Okay, I think I think this is a wipe. That sure was some hubbub, wasn't it? Wow, that was. Wow, you lose! And this galleon was defeated by this fucking encounter. It decided it's more powerful than anything in the world and was right. But we didn't lose a whole lot of progress.
So what happens if we pick the wrong one? I'm curious to see. Nothing? Okay, after four teleports, we're just going to get teleported back to the start. Got it. It's really just here to be a butt. Still not sure why they're going with physical attacks. Except for Kyle, who wastes his turn in MP. Man, they are not kidding around here. Like, all of these are potentially really deadly. I can't go to show, like, we need to we need to do more fighting, because like otherwise we're just gonna die to Kyle. Okay. Uh, alright, alright. I misread that. That's on me. All right, love birds, break it up. And the devil pendant. And what does that do? Who's this stuff? Oh, we already had one. All right. Okay, so. White, then red. Then fight. Okay. Yeah, that's more of what I'm expecting, doing something like Flash Cut to hit everyone, and Electro Shower to also hit everyone, and also give them a seizure. And Sonic Riser, that doesn't hit everyone, but it's Kyle's best shot at hitting as many people as possible in general. Jessica's a little worn down, but uh, oh wow, finishing this last guy with a um, uh, physical attack from Nash. I think the enemy died of embarrassment. Okay, blue.
I am going to try that fight again, but I, I am going to save before I take the, uh, the block teleporter. Also make sure that, uh, my entire party is, you know, fully healed before trying again. Ooh, nice dodge. Flash cut. Yeah! Okay. Make sure that everyone is as not dead as possible. And save. Let's try beating this jerk. And this time, I'm taking control from the start, because this obviously is a fight that needs to be taken seriously. And by taken seriously, I mean I'm just gonna use Dragon Lament. But just as backup, I'm gonna have people just use their spells and things. Uh, no, I didn't want power sweep. Now I am the one who is the idiot. No, that actually is hitting two dudes. Where is an egg, viewers? I, cool UMZX, am wearing it on my face. Come on, hurry up, Alex. You need to friggin' cast your thing before everyone dies. Especially you. Ah, man. Alex is so slow. Or maybe it's this cast that's very slow. There we go. <laughs> Get the hell out. And that still counts for full experience. And they sure have had an experience trying to fight those things. Alright, let's make everyone not dead. And I'm gonna save again. Just for good measure. And let's get started with this thing for real. Let me see what the... okay. The recommended level for the next boss is 45. We're getting pretty close to there already.
Nice. Big damage. Love it. levels up. And in this box, there's a silver light. Later, nerd. And here, there is a box, and in the box is... The Advent Armlet, which I believe belongs to Jessica. Alfina's Armlet, not related at all to Advent Children. Um, I need to interact with anything here? Okay, now. That was just this little side thing for the item. Now I have to return to the hub. I have to return to the hub and hopefully avoid the hubbub. Because now that we've beaten it once, I hope to never have to fight it again. <laughs> But at the very least, we know that um, if we end up having to do that again, we can just use um, basically Dragon Get Out. Probably have hit all three of them, but at least that hit two and got rid of both. This last guy shouldn't be too hard to get rid of. Yeah, yeah. Sixty-nine hundred. Nice. Uh, Wrath Ring. I think I already have one of those, right? Oh, there it is. Yeah, strength up. We already have one. Okay, next we are going southwest. And we didn't even need to deal with the hubbub. And uh, then we go southwest again. And we receive the gift of the blue dragon. The hero's armlet. The hero's omelet. Gives power of Einher Jar. What the hell is Einher Jar? <laughs> like, I want to know more about what Einher Jar is. Oh, uh, there is nothing over here. Got it. And now we're going southeast. We should be able to cleanly avoid the hubbub again. And go east. We are the wanderers of east. 
We received the gift of the black dragon. The avatar robe. Which has nothing to do with James Cameron. Uh, that uh, does not belong to you. That belongs to Nash. Worn by a legendary avatar. Like, some of these items tell the beginning of a story that is never explained. It annoys me. Actually, just for good measure, let's, um, have a call with me. Double critical. Wonder if that's gonna be enough for that one dude. Nope. Still alive. Still alive. Ooh, but managed to hit three on that attack. All three of them are dead. Here comes the stun cannon, which, uh, as is tradition, Stuns uh, both Nash and Mia. And then a magic cannon, which doesn't really do anything useful. And down goes another one. Down goes the last one. Alright, break it up, you two. And there's a really tight hitbox on that, uh, on that teleporter. Oh, only one way to go, and that is up here. <laughs> and which one do I want to go on? First of all, let's fight this guy. Nothing is going to be as bad as the hubbub. Okay, so reviewing the guide here, we want to go to the teleporter all the way in the back. But it's probably going to give us the gift of the white dragon. The old white dragon, not the new one that we have had the entire game. Thank you. Gotta get rid of the two guard things, leaving us only with whatever these things are. Like, considering that their heads are cut in half like that, they look like some sort of Canadian monster from South Park. So we get the gift of the white dragon, which is the spirit talisman, and I think this is gonna go on Jessica. 
so currently she has agility up, but I think I want to give her the spirit talisman because from what I'm reading, all elemental attacks half. So that's going to lead to her taking a lot less damage and um, yeah, if there's one person who's going to survive in the party, it probably should be Jessica. Oh yeah, I should probably give uh, give our dear friend Kyle a couple of starlights. I'll just top everyone off, really. No reason to be to be uh, skimpy on those. I don't know why I have to be standing on the exact pixel to take the teleport. Yeah, it would be even more epic if the uh, if the same music kept playing in battles. And there's just the the RPG trope of like when the dungeon music is being used directly in the battles, if that's not a thing that normally happens in the game, that's when you know the game is getting serious. Got another Wrath Ring, Jess levels up, Mia levels up. We might be a tiny bit under leveled, as we're everyone level uh, 44. We should be level 45 for this. Uh... Actually, we're not up to the boss yet, so what am I talking about? Maybe I was just getting worried because the game is saying. Heal up at the statue and then save your game. I mean, it's a good place to save your game. At the at the spot where you can, you know, heal up. Okay, so now we want to exit southwest. Which is the only way that we can exit. I could tell anyone. Anyway. I got a date with the sword with no name. And it's gonna replace the insane. Passed down through ages. Also, this really seems like it should be like a trap room or something, but no, it's just a room with a chest in the middle. Ominously placed. Um, wait, do I need to kill the dude? And as usual, why is it always those two who get stunned? I just kind of imagine them like flopped over each other. And like it's kind of cute, but also we're in the middle of a fight and you probably should not do that.
Jessica taking uh, the situation in her in her own hands this time. Not waiting for Nal to do his thing. And there we go. Another 8100 XP, another Wrath Ring. Oh, this isn't where I gotta stand. That's where I gotta stand. I don't know how I missed this. And here comes the last chest of the game. Um, up the stairs. Anyone want to take a guess what the last chest of the game is going to contain? They're going to be exciting? Big cash prizes? Big money? No whammies? I love it. I'm <laughs> conflating uh, references at this point. Another Wrath Ring, just in case we didn't have enough of them. Uh, let's see. Right, what's down here? Big fat nothing. Oh, there's another hubbub. There's the last chest and it contains a silver light. Nothing exciting. At this point, the guide is absolutely insisting that we grind our way to level 45. Um, which we're almost there, but um, I probably don't need to subject to subject uh, people watching the VOD at the very least to this grinding, so we'll be right back. All right, so everyone is now level forty-five. It is time to move on to the end. This is it, Zenobia. No more running away, not after what you did to my father. Today is the day I wipe you from existence. Your words and the words of your miserable father have no meaning to me. My only care and desire is for the, the affections of Galleon, dear sweet Galleon. For he is the only being capable of saving this world from chaos. None of you can fathom the extent to which Galleon has grieved for the plight of this world. Nor what he has sacrificed to rebuild it from its fallen state. I will not be concerned with the fate of those who refuse to see what Galleon has done for them. Are you trying to say that Galleon, who wishes to rule over this world for his own ends, is right? I cannot accept that. Then tell me if you know so much better. Who is it that will stand and lead this world? 
The only thing Galleon is leading us into is slavery. I'd sooner die than have someone tell me what I can and cannot do with my life. Galleon's ambitions are turned for the worse, not better. And that's right. We don't need a god or a goddess dictating your every move. We have, a, we have each other to rely on. You. You're talking nonsense. How dare you doubt the wisdom of Lord Galleon. This is what happens to the children of the world without someone to guide them. Zenobia, you... <sighs> I've had my fill of your foolish delusions. The time is at hand for me to bury you eternally in the abyss of doubt and regret. What's happening? Well, we're dead. <laughs> your own dark doubts and desires shall be your most cruel executioner. Farewell, miserable ch Also, I don't know why I said Kirill like I did. Anyway. Teleport! Where am I? Who are you? I am what you feared most. I am you. What? That's right, Jessica. I am the real you. The one you keep hidden deep inside. Are you really me? That's right, Kyle. You've forgotten we're one and the same. I want us to stop trying to fight this useless battle. We know Galleon's unbeatable, don't we? Yes, admit it. What are you talking about? Come on, Kyle. You can lie to other people, but you can't lie to yourself, pal. All we want to do is have fun and imbibe the sweet nectar of womankind. You know it's true. It's all we've ever wanted. Do we care about the fate of the world? Hell no. We just want to squeeze in as much merrymaking as we can of our, out of our days. The future of this world and everyone in it are none of our concern, right? Uh, let's get back to Nanza where we can eat, drink, and be disgustingly promiscuous. We'll leave the rest of this saving the world nonsense to anyone else but us. We hate the responsibility that's been placed upon us by everyone, because we've never had confidence in ourselves. Everyone assumes that we're going to leave the Magic Guild, that we want to follow in our mother's footsteps. But does anyone care about what we want, Mia? Has anyone ever cared? Of course not. No one knows how, how weak we really are. Too scared to be a leader. Too weak to fight. You have to agree with me, Nash. Because you are me. We know about leadership. We know that strong people are needed to guide weak ones. We see it every day at the Magic Guild. Under the guise of teaching. And we know that we're, the one, that we're one of the strong ones. We're a shepherd. Not a sheep. Why do you continue to hesitate? Galleon himself has acknowledged our power. We must join with him again and help Galleon rule our world as our new god. Think of the, think of the power you'll grant us, Nash. People will kneel in our presence. What we've always desired, Nash, and now it is within our grasp. Father has never really tried to understand us, Jessica. He's always forced us to live our life his way, to fulfill his dreams. What about the life we always wanted, Jessica? What about our dreams? No one understands the real us, Jessica. Oh. So why should we fight for them when all they've ever done is hold us back? You remember this bit from Persona? Mina has abandoned us. 
That's not true. Nina's made her decision. She chose Gally. That's not true. Nina's not human, Alex. She's the goddess Alvina. Is not the friend. Uh, she's not the, the childhood friend Luna that we once knew. Luna will always be Luna. We must accept facts, Alex. The goddess has no use for weak mortals like us. Now that Luna is gone, we have no more reason to fight. That's pretty much it, dear. Hmm. I wonder if this is a non standard game over. You know what? I'm just going to do a save state. Let's see what happens. But you do have the power, it's inside your heart. And you can use it simply by calling on your memories. Think of what you've learned on our journey. Think of what you felt. Think of the people we've met. Nash, Mia, Kyle, Jessica. Okay, but that must. Got it. My dad has never forced me to do anything, not once. And I've never had to hide who I am from him. When I'm outside, I run wild and free. When I'm inside, I behave as a lady should. My father was a pirate and my mother a noblewoman. I've inherited the blood of both my beloved parents. My father understands this, and so do my friends. No one has ever held me back from being myself. I mean, that, that's basically the name of that trope, like, it's just the, the simplest, like, boiled down example is from Dragon Quest, just, but thou must. Why? Because thou must. Yeah, I'd like to have fun. Okay, I love to have fun. But this adventure has taught me that there are times when I have to get serious. And there is nothing more serious than what's going on here right now. Besides, it's going to be hard to have fun when the world's been destroyed. I have to fight so that future generations are free to freeload. All my life, I've allowed, I've allowed my fear to control me. I was always afraid that my mother would consider me a failure. I was afraid that I wasn't good enough or strong enough to lead the Magic Guild. But I realized that my fear wasn't only affecting myself. If I couldn't face my fear, other people would be hurt. So I've resolved to be strong. Not just for myself, but for the people I care about. And for those that care about me. You can't value people for only their power, ma magic, or wealth. We have to value all people for everything they have to offer. And when we work together, we can achieve anything. This is what I have finally been able to understand through my journey. Together, my friends and I shall press forward. Well, well, you managed to escape the maze of your wretched inner selves. All of you except for the Dragon Master, that is. <laughs> Don't worry about Alex. 
He'll break free of your feeble magic. He's the strongest one among us. AJ Pop. He'll never give up until he rescues Luna, you hag. Alex draws strength from the faith we have in him. And I draw strength from knowing how hard he's gonna kick your whiny butt. Luna. You fool. Haven't you heard a word we said? Luna's beyond your reach. If we try to pursue her, she uh, will be killed as well. Don't you dare stand in my way, Alex! Run away, Alex. Run away and never come back. It doesn't happen what hap uh, it doesn't matter what happens to Luna anymore. Luna! Luna betrayed us. If you stay here, you'll be killed. Go now. Get out of here, Alex. Run away before it's too late for both of us. I won't run away. I will save her. No matter what it takes. There we go. There you are, Alex. You're just telling Zenobi here. It won't matter if she begs you for mercy. To hell with you, Alex. To hell with all of you. Zenobia. Luna came to us in this world not as the goddess Althena, but as a human being. I know that her decision was the right one, and I'll fight to defend it to the end. Lord Galleon, I will not let them pass, even, even if it means the ex at the expense of my own life, they shall not pass. I'm gonna save state right now, cause I don't want to go. I don't want to have to go through that entire sequence again if we should happen to lose. Um. I'm wondering if I should hold on to my supers, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to my supers because, you know, spoilers, we're going into uh, directly into another boss after this. Uh, so let's start by buffing up. Um, and that weapon, and power up. And Jessica draws first blood. Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, ow. Trouble's gonna keep me running faster here. Save the party from disaster. See, what I should have done is have Jessica cast Divine Litany, but I didn't do that. So it's time to pay the price. Uh, so Jessica's going to cast Divine Litany this turn. And then endow a weapon on Kyle, who's going to also do Power Slash. That wasn't so bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't so bad. Actually, a thought occurs. 
Because we we kind of learned by accident. Oh, she gonna do something. So I think I want to do Dragon Guard. Um, I'm gonna do Thunderbolt. You're gonna do Calm Let Me. You're going to. Um, what should I have you do? I think Inferno is the trick for you here. And Power Slash. Excellent, so Dragon Guard is casting first. So that should hopefully uh, fend off Zenobia's attack here. I'm going to fend off Mia's attack with the low contrast filter. Yep, that worked like a charm. Also didn't hit Jessica at all, so she's still under the effect of the White Dragon Guard. But I think what I want to do is kind of keep the White Dragon Guard up. Uh, you can do whatever. Basically, try try to prevent. Oh, okay. Um, no, that's gonna hit everyone actually. Pretty hard, except for Jessica. Right. Everyone is nice and protected again. Let's see how everyone's health is doing. Not too bad, actually. Um, I don't know who's gonna cast first. But right now we are under the effect of Dragon Guard, so I'm gonna go ahead and Sword Dance. And I will do another Calm Litany. Um, and Inferno and Power Slash. Good to have an extra turn of a pretty large amount of damage. Everyone gets healed for a zero. Ah, Zenobia is casting again. Let's see who uh, who managed to, who manages to draw first. Now she didn't need to do calm litany. She can just wail on Zenobia. Hopefully. Ow. Alex manages to draw first out of everyone. He's going to prevent any damage from happening this turn.
I think that hit everyone. I'm not entirely sure if that hit Jessica, honestly. But I am kind of tempted to uh, have Mia endow weapon on Jessica. Uh, I'm gonna have Alex do another Dragon Guard so that it is ready, and then next turn, no matter what Zenobia does, uh, Alex will uh, actually attack. Uh, hang on. Yeah, you do whatever. I'm gonna endow weapon on Jessica just for the hell of it, really. Unfortunately, Jessica's going to decide to attack first. Last, but does boost Jessica's attack power by 83. Good number there. Zenobia's casting, but that's okay. Uh, you're gonna do Sword Dance. You're gonna do Thunder uh, Thunderbolt. You're going to use a Silver Light on Alex because I just noticed his MP is super low. Uh, you're gonna keep doing Inferno, and you're gonna keep doing Parasage. That wasn't even a cast! Like, she was telegraphing a cast and she didn't do it. What the hell? Did she run out of MP? I don't think that's a thing that can happen in this game. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who we're fighting, guys. And possibly be Zenobia. Um. Yeah, you can do whatever. You can do Inferno, you can do Power Slash. I have to wonder if, um, if White Dragon Guard falls off eventually, but we're not going to have to worry about it because Zenobia is dead. 55,000 experience points, but we're still hungry. And Alex levels up. Nash levels up. Kaya levels up. Unfortunately, the girls are a little behind, but it should be fine. No, this can't be. Rikalian always told me that humans were ugly and weak. It's impossible. Galleon could never be wrong. I failed you, my lord. Please forgive me. I almost have pity for Zenobia. She truly loved Galleon despite who he has become. But her feelings were misguided. Okay. One battle remains. Everyone's at full health and, and uh, MP. We have saved the game. Now let's go kick Galleon in the face.
ついに時は来た15年前の過ちを正すべき時だお前自身の手によってのはい魔法皇帝ガレアス様。You are never meant to exist in the realm of mortals, Athena. Now, in human form, your body deteriorates and eventually your soul will fade from existence. But your, di your divine power shall not. For its existence is eternal in nature, being inherited from one god to, to another throughout all eternity. Go forth, Alte Althena. The time has come to fulfill your destiny. As you desire, Lord. Luna! <laughs> ah, yes, Dragon Master Alex. Let her go, Galleon! I'm sorry to say that your simple request must be denied. Unfortunate for you, the object of your desire has a destiny more powerful than your meaningless affection. Athena's sacrifice will bring forth the advent of a new god! The advent of a new god? Yes, this world can only be unified by one who holds absolute power within their grasp. Fifteen years ago, the goddess ignored this basic truth and was reborn as a human child, placing her belief in the potential of the human heart. Yet such utter foolishness was her impudent, her imprudent choice. Athena and Dine willfully cast aside their duty to protect this world, and our world has paid the price for their selfish desires, but now I possess the ability to correct the grievous error they have foolishly enacted. Behold the power of the salvation I shall deliver! Luna! End this madness now, Galleon. Of all the people in this room, you certainly must know that it's much too late to turn back. In order to reclaim the magic Althena released into the world following her rebirth as a human, her body is essential as it acts as the key to reverse the process of transmigration. That's it? For some... for some measly power? You're willing to end Luna's life? Answer me, Galleon! For some measly power, you ask? It's quite clear that you fail to grasp the inner workings of our world. Concepts like the necessity of leadership are far beyond your childish comprehension. All you've ever done is dream, fantasize really of your great adventures. So let me educate you about the universal truth which you seem to have overlooked. It is power, absolute power, which is fundamental、uh, the fundamental element of all things in this world. It won't be long until all of Althena's power, or Luna's power, if you like, is mine. And when the last wisp of her magic has been siphoned away from this world, Luna's existence will cease to be, and I shall stand as the new god of this world in her stead. Alright, Galleon, I've had just an, about enough of your trash talking. <coughs> I've never needed anyone to tell me what to do, especially not a complete nutcase like you. Human beings don't need to be controlled to be happy. That's right, and that's why the goddess entrusted us with the power to make our own futures. We're not letting you take her, take her precious gift away from us. I believed in you once, Galleon. I thought, I thought what you were doing was right. 
But now I realize just how wrong you are. Galleon, is power the only thing that's left for you to believe in? Haven't you realized that there is no per there is no such thing as perfect power? By your own actions, you have already proven yourself corrupted by it. The mere idea of absolute power has driven you to do unspeakable things. Don't you understand, Galleon? Don't you understand that the only person who wants the world as it was is you? It can't be helped if I have a greater understanding of what the world means than Althena. While the goddess remained absent from her tower, I watched, galled at the plight of her children as they struggled to survive without her rule. What you call freedom, Alex, I deem cruelty. What will guide this world if it has no god, Alex? What will save it from itself? Our world does need a god to shelter us from hardship. It's that very struggle that makes her gift to us precious. Her belief in us is proof enough that we're worthy of our freedom. And it's the potential of the human heart which Althea so fervently believed in that will shape the world of tomorrow, not you. And a save state right here, just in case we, uh, kind of eat it during this fight. And yes, we actually got, um, a cutscene with sound again. Also, we've heard this song before. So, have we heard the song before? Or maybe I've heard the song before because I have the soundtrack. Anyway, Galleon. Now is the time that we're going to be using our supers. Um, I'm going to start with Dragon Guard just for good measure here. Uh, you're going to do Thunder Rain. You're going to do Iris. No, you're going to do Divine Lip. Uh, you're gonna do Endow Weapon on Alex, and you're gonna power up. I remember actually in the PlayStation version of this, like every time Galleon attacks, he says, Time to die! Like, it's kind of an epic line, except when you've heard it 50 times during a fight. Thunderbolt. Uh, you are going to be on auto. Endow weapon on Kyle. And uh, give it a turn and power slash. Dragon Master, welcome to die! I mean, this, the thing with the uh, with uh, X Men is like, Magneto only says that the one time. Oh, jeez. So he still has the double attack thing that uh, that he had during the uh, the script of loss. I am not a fan of that.
But hopefully he doesn't cast as much. Alright, I guess I'm gonna cast Dragon Guard again. Uh, you're gonna do Calm, let me. You've done your two endowed weapons, so I'm gonna have you use Double Spell. And we're gonna do Shine Blade. I did not realize how hard that could hit. Wow, okay. That was cool. Alright, well that hit everyone, but uh, we did have the effect of, um, oh geez, Mon Crush. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot. We did have the uh, the protection effect going on, so that's good. Uh, but I am gonna need to put up Dragon Guard again. Actually, no. Screw it. We're gonna four Dragon Blade this this jerk. And I'm going to hope... Actually, now I'm going to put her on auto and hope that she knows what best to do whenever she draws her turn, but I, I hope that she draws her turn late in this case. Kinda sucks that um, Alex has gotten to use that exactly twice all game. Okay, so he does a regular attack and then he's on crush. Not a big deal. And Jessica did draw her turn late, so that's good. I'm gonna put up a Dragon Guard. We're gonna Thunderbolt. And you're going to Iron Sledge. You're going to Inferno and you Power Slash. And just as a treat, Jessica gets to draw her turn first. Siphon Soul. Oh, geez. Okay. Still, that's not a whole lot of health. And just for safety's sake, at least we got uh, the Dragon Guard up. 
But yeah, he only stole like 300 health, which is really not much in the grand scheme of things here. Uh, no, we don't need to do Dragon Guard again. I mean, Sword Dance is gonna do more than 360 damage. Um... I'll have her use Calm Litany. Probably not necessary, but... Better safe than sorry. Actually, hang on. No, I'm gonna have her... use a Silver Light on Alex. There. It's kind of interesting, like, every boss in, uh, like, in the game, in this guy that I'm looking at, their HP is listed. Galleons isn't. Okay, that's not terrible. Oh. <laughs> My bad, sorry. Okay, he's apparently not casting, which... Has me a little worried. Now let's go ahead and apply Dragon Guard. Uh, you are going to heal Mia specifically. It is going to Inferno, and then Kyle with the Battle Rush. How can you kill that which is already dead? Maybe he has no HP. Oh dear. Turns out the final boss battle is a scripted loss. Ooh. Oh, that was uh that was a lot of damage on Jessica. No me gusta. Bands, Thunderbolt, heal yourself. Uh, Inferno and Power Slash. With that, Lunar Silver Star Harmony is complete. You're dead. We did it, Alex. We finally defeated Galleon. Then it's gonna be alright now, won't you, Alex? Galleon, why couldn't you see the light? This nightmare for Luna is finally over. We've defeated Galleon once and for all. Come on, Alex, let's go! Yes, to save Luna.
Yep. You're one of the four heroes, Galleon. You're one of my heroes. And you're Dragon Master Dain's best friend. How could you? Uh, let's, uh, speak to them from left to right. I believe that's the order that we met them in. When I think about a world without the goddess Alvina, it makes me nervous. But it also makes me feel proud that she believed so strongly in us, Alex. And I want to earn her trust. I want to build a wonderful future for our world. But working together with all of you... Fifteen years ago, Athena and Dine made the decision to change their lives forever. It's not that Galleon didn't understand their decision. He just didn't want to understand it. He loved Alvina, and convinced of it, and he was jealous of the Dragon Master. His heart was wounded and his beliefs were shaken when she chose to become human. He must have felt like his world was falling apart, and that must have been when he decided to take on the power of a god himself. Galleon, despite being marked as evil by those around you, you managed to stand fast in your beliefs to the bitter end. And for that, I truly admire you. The, weir the real tragedy of the story, that you never found the courage to believe in anybody but yourself. I wonder if Galleon did all this because he truly cared about the world, or if he did it out of lust for power in order to rule over everyone as the Magic Emperor. This I'll never know for certain, Alex. There's one thing I'm very sure about. Your love for Luna is far greater than Galleon's power over her ever was. So now is the time that I kind of want to point out something that Working Designs decided to do. Hold on, Luna. I'm coming. What was that? It was... Luna. You humans are forbidden to approach. Luna? I am Althena, the goddess of supreme authority who rules this world. How dare you uh, desecrate my inner sanctum. Leave this place at once or be destroyed for your ignorance. Alex, what's happened to Luna? She doesn't know who we are. That... that isn't Luna. Well, it seems as though the world needs a god after all. And you... didn't we break enough of your bones, Galleon? Or are there a few left for us to snap? I have no need to fight again when I have already emerged victorious. One? How can you say that? Because collecting the magic of the world has reawakened the goddess within Luna. Better yet, the memories of dying, being reborn, as a human, have been erased. Once more, our world is under the control of absolute power. No, no, you're lying to us, you're wrong. It's fine, he's actually dead now. <clears throat> I... I 
will save you, Luna. I'm going to take you back home. I'm going to take you back to our home in Berg. Alex, I need you all to stay here. This is something I have to do alone. Good idea, Alex. I'm ready when you are. No, you stay here too. Oh, okay, Alex. Remove yourself from my holy presence at once or suffer the swift consequences, human. What if I lost and I don't I didn't lose any HP from that? How dare you ignore my words, Dragon Master! You serve me and you will obey me! You ignore the will of your goddess at your peril, infidel. So, here's a little story about the North American PlayStation version of this game. So you see how uh, the goddess is currently zapping um, zapping Alex as he tries to ascend the staircase. So in the PlayStation version, everyone has their own inventory. And very importantly, as it does in the PlayStation version, I don't know if it's at the top or at the bottom. Oh, there it is. He starts with the Ark Arena. Now, you can trade items between uh, party members, but specifically, Alex cannot trade the Ark Arena to anyone else. Except Nal. Alex can give the Ark Arena to Nal. Throughout the entire rest of the game, the ocarina is only used as a sound test. So you use the ocarina, you can listen to any music in the game. You need, you absolutely need to use the ocarina here. If you do not, and you get too close to the goddess, she will strike Alex down giving you a non-standard game over, and there you go, fighting uh, Galleon again. Now here's the thing. Null has left the party. This is the only time in the entire game that Null leaves the party and his, and his inventory becomes inaccessible. If you gave the ocarina to Null, you're dead man walking here. Fortunately, none of this is the case in the PlayStation Portable version. It's a shared inventory, Alex always has the ocarina with him, and you don't even need to use it. And this is specific, by the way, to the North American version. In the Japanese version, you don't even need to use the ocarina. And I want to reiterate, the game does not tell you that you need to use the ocarina here. Anyway, let's finish our ascent. I shall not warn you again, Dragon Master. Leave here or forfeit your soul. That's your warning in the, um, in the North American PlayStation version. You have to use the ocarina, or else the next time she zaps you, you're dead. What are you doing? Stay back! I said stay back, human!
Do not disobey your God, Alex. If you continue with your belligerence, you'll be stripped of all your power just as dying was. Is that what you desire, Dragon Master? That is of little consequence to me, Luna. Alex. Luna! ルナ、一緒にブルクに帰ろう。ガレオンを倒しても、この魔導都市アルテナの機能を止めることはできないわ。このまま魔法力を集め続ければ、このルナの世界すべてが死の砂漠に変わってしまう。けれど、私が消え
野郎。無茶しやがって。<笑>アレスとルーナは自分たちを犠牲にしてこの世界を。<笑>
Come to see us before you leave, alright? She's right, as always. Don't go before saying goodbye. Uh, Mia, I'm sure your mother won't be offended if we don't run to Black Rose Street. Hey Alex, why don't we go and see Ramus? I bet his business is booming. That's a wonderful idea, no? I haven't seen him for such a long time. Well then, let's start. stop talking and start walking. Luna, you look great. I knew you and Alex would be together again. Look at all the customers I have today. I owe it all to you, Alex. Everyone wants to shop at the store where the mighty Dragon Master shopped. Ha! <laughs> wow, I just can't get over how happy you two look. I hope I feel that strongly about another person someday. I'm be I've begun. Uh, I've been thinking about all how all this began, Alex. If I hadn't convinced you to go with me to the White Dragon Cave that day, Luna wouldn't have been kidnapped, and the world would have stayed at peace. Yeah. I'm just kidding, Ramus. If you hadn't taken us to the cave, Alex would never have fulfilled his destiny. You're a trickster and all, but you're funny. Alex, I wanted to come with you to Berg, but I'm just too busy to get away from here just yet. Please tell my father and nanny I say hello and tell them I'm fine. Oh, hey, Alex, check this out. I got it just for you. Lunabromide one. It's the least I can do for someone who lent me money. <laughs> Come back later, and I should have some more. Blah, blah, blah. And sure enough, there are two more bromides. And you do not get these unless you pay the guy at the beginning of the game 15 silver to cover um, Ramus's debt. So if you don't do something at the very start of the game, which I actually missed on my first uh, pass through and had to replay the entire game to, uh, to actually do, then we miss the, these last two bromides. So let's check our last stash here. And I believe that's all of the bromides. Uh, so we got Luna 1. Mia 3. Oh, we Mars just go 1. Well, anyway. <laughs> but I want to date Barrett. And Justine. Basically the same thing as Mia 3, but with Jess. I'm okay showing those on stream. Mia 4 was just a little too spicy to show on stream. <laughs> also interesting, Alex has no MP. He lost all of his MP um, getting Luna back. Luna, who is still at level 18, by the way. <laughs> Okay, so now we need to go to Black Rose Street. I mean, I can I can send you a link to my Discord. I don't do a whole lot on it, but uh, actually I was probably going to do that anyway, considering that you requested the next game. And for everyone else, uh, 
who might be watching. I will get to that request once we're done here. Mother, Majesty Lemia, I've always been proud of you, uh, Mia, but never as proud as I am at this moment. You're more of a hero than I ever was, my daughter. As for you, Nash, I won't lie. You will have to work very hard to regain my trust. Mia speaks highly of you, and I know you care for her, so don't disappoint me again. Mother, I... I'm so happy. So am I. Mother, I promise I won't cry anymore when I'm worried, when I'm afraid. Not when I have so many things to take care of. Uh, now that I have so many things to take care of, I can't afford to be weak or show weakness. That's exactly right, Mia. That's how the new leader must be. What? Mother, what do you mean? Mia, it's obvious that my reign at the Magic Guild is over. It was my leadership that led to the corruption of the guild. And it was your actions that saved it and the world. Which person do you think has the trust and support of the people of Vane? I'm confident in you, Mia. And after all you have done, you should be confident as well. Nash, I expect you to support me and obey her commands. What she does not need at this crucial time is the history of the guild to, uh, in the history of the guild is to be doubted. Yes, of course, Majesty of Ma Majesty Lamia. I will help Mia no matter what the consequence uh, no matter what the circumstances. I would help her even if, even if doing so meant the destruction of my very soul. Yes. Well. Gosh. Mia, I know that under your leadership, Vane will soar through the skies again. And the Magic Guild will be more magnificent than ever. Thank you, Nash. I love you. What? And you're right. With the help of Alex, Luna, Jessica, Kyle, and Nal, all the people I love, we will create a Magic Guild that everyone can join. <laughs> She said the thing, but then she kind of, um, unsaid the thing. Promise me you'll work as hard as you can. Oh, of course, Mia. Of course I will. I do anything for you. Aw, why the look of disappointment, Nash? You didn't really think that Mia liked you that way, did you? No, please. The bathroom is happening. Like maybe? Hello, Alex. Oh, <laughs> Facia. Okay. Hello, Alex. Facia. Wow, I really thought you were toast. Uh, I mean, I'm really happy to see you. Many members of the Vile Tribe have survived, and we intend to find a place in this new world. We know it won't be easy. And we know that we have to earn the trust of Althena's children. But just as Althena had faith in her children to do what was right, so does the Vile Tribe. Faisha. Where will you go, Faisha? When will we see you again? We will seek out a part of the Green Earth which has never been explored. We will make it our home, and we, we will be reborn in the light of the goddess. Goodbye, Alex. Goodbye, Luna. Do you think the Vile Tribe will find happiness, Alex? What am I saying? Of course they will. You're right, Noel. Everyone has a home in Alfina's new world. It's almost time for us to return to our home, together. I think at this point we can leave, but we would be remiss to do so without, um, 
talking to uh, Jess and Kyle again. Kyle, Jessica, what's up? You're going to meet with Master Mill? How wonderful. Well, it would be wonderful if, if Kyle wasn't being such a butthead about it. He's too afraid of my dad to tell him how we feel about each other. Isn't that right, Kyle? No, not exactly, Jess. It's just the... It's just what? It feel weird intruding on such an emotional moment between you and your father. I don't want to be a cause of any weird vibes. Besides, to Mel, I'm like an arch-rival battling it out for his daughter's affections. Oh, Kyle. Just being silly. Now come on and hurry it up. Hey! <laughs> Jessica! Dad! Oh, Jessica, my sweet, wonderful daughter. I'm so glad you're all right. Never thought I'd hold you in my arms again. Dad. Oh, Dad, I miss you so much. What a wonderful moment, Alex. I'm glad you're here to see it. I'm glad you were able to help make it happen. My butler told me about everything that happened while I was out of action. I'm so proud of you, Jessica. My little girl grew to, grew up to be the savior of the world. Oh, Daddy, I didn't do it all by myself. Don't be modest, Jess. Alex couldn't have done it without you. Huh? Is that you, Kyle? Damn it! You don't have to hide away from me, Kyle. Come here. Kyle, I know you love my dog. And I know how happy you make her. So promise me you're always gonna take care of her. What? I... <laughs> I promise. Dad. And don't you think it's a little early to call me that, Kyle? Why don't, you, why don't you stick with Mel until you make an honest woman out of my daughter? No. Oh. <laughs> of course. I didn't want to admit it, but I knew that Jessica... That you and Jessica were meant to be. You're always the only boy who enjoyed it when she threw you in the mud. Dad, you make it sound so... dirty. <laughs> That's a good one, sweetie. <laughs> so, uh, you wouldn't mind helping us pay for the ceremony, would you know? Since I gave up stealing, I'm just about broke. <laughs> You're shameless, Kyle. How can I not love you? <laughs> I'm so happy for you too. Can I be your dragon of honor? Alex, you might not yet realize what you've accomplished. Rest assured, lad, that you're no longer a mere man. In the eyes of some, you've now become a god on earth. Won't be easy to deal with, lad, but I'm here to offer you advice if you need it. Won't lie to you, Alex. That was a pretty good time killer. <laughs> Luna, I know that Alex may not be as strong or handsome by most... Okay, by any standards. Damn. There's no one in this world who cares about you more than he does. And he's about to... Uh, he's about the next best thing to a man like myself. We'll start having a wonderful life already. <laughs> I'm so happy for the two of you. It's wonderful to see the love you share. Have a, stri a safe trip back to Berg. And promise me you'll come visit Kyle and me as soon as you can. We can talk about the old days just like my dad. <laughs> Get a job. Already better than Hadu. I think, according to the guy, there's another cutscene over here. Up to the man southeast of the bar. This dead guy? 
You really shouldn't sleep here anymore, old man. Your butt is starting to take on the shape of the bricks in the sidewalk, for starters. <laughs> Zip your lip. I'm watching for monsters and staying those that can't sleep. <laughs> we don't have to fight the Vile Tribe anymore, sir. We're our friends now. One hour passes, receding from view as the curtain lifts on another end. Endless waves upon the rocky shore or tell of flowing time forever. On the billowing fabric of the ocean tailor, sail I, a simply yet meandering sailor. Ah, uh, what a poet I am. Okay, I gotta talk. I think I gotta talk to this guy to finish the game. Persistence is the key, I see. Didn't expect you kids would be able to teach me something. Without giving up, maybe I too will hang on to my dream. That is, to own my own ship. When you go to land and eat fish on your ship, please let me get on board, will you? <laughs> oh no. You could easily fly there with your own set of wings. Okay, this guy. Who's that babe next to you? She's a freaking hottie and the spinning image of Alvina, too. I wonder why that is. That's right. That's because she's none other than... No. I mean, she's none other than surprised herself that she looks so similar. Uh, who do I gotta talk to? I'll talk to you again, I guess. Yeah. Well, I guess we're not going to be able to finish the game, because I can't figure out who to talk to. Okay, I gotta en enter the bar and speak to someone interesting. Alex, we've been looking for you, but we were just about to give up. I'm glad we, I, glad we, decided, we decided to stop and eat here before returning to Pow. It's Tempest, and Fresca too! Alex, you are truly the bravest of all the Dragon Masters. I am honored to be your friend. And I shall gladly give you my allegiance. If you ever are in need of help, just ask. Thank you, Tempest. No, no, I have never seen Tempest respect anyone as he does Alex. You should be proud. So tell me, Luna, when do you expect to begin burying the Dragon Master's children? God damn, she's 15. Give her a few years. What? Well, uh, we haven't really discussed it yet. Why not? There can't be anything more wonderful than your new life with the men you love. Tempest and I are planning to having, uh, having a huge family. Just think, Luna. Our children will get to play together when, they, when we visit each other. Yes, that would be nice. But Alex, what? Alex and I have never... Luna, if you're any redder, people would mistake you for a talking tomato. Okay, J-pop, calm down. You'll get the Discord link. Alex, you're blushing too. I didn't realize Maria was such a warm place. <laughs> Alex, please make him stop. The people of the plane will never forget what you've done for them. And neither will I. Come and see us soon, Alex. There we go. That's who I needed to talk to. Laika! <laughs> no, and Alex, are you going back? Are you going back to Berg already? All right, time to properly finish this game. The drunk guy is still drunk. Oh, hi, Dine. By the way, we killed your old, your old friend. I mean, I'm sure that 
Dine, that uh, Dine is expecting that we did this. Dragon Master Dine. I... The man with that name died long ago, Alex. The age of gods and heroes is now at an end. From now on, our, he our future will be shaped not by those with power or prestige, but by those with courage. You possess that courage, Alex. You always have. Thank you, Dine. I'm embarking on a journey, Alex. This one seems as if it'll be a long one. Like it? The world is boundless, Alex. I'll never claim all of its treasures or learn all of its secrets. But I don't feel hopeless about it. I feel fortunate. Fortunate that I'm alive and able to explore a world with such endless adventure. Like it. Bad Gally. I wanted to say. He died for his beliefs, Alex. And I know he wouldn't have had it any other way. But if there's one thing I sincerely regret, it's... No, this isn't the time to discuss that, Alex. Not yet. I mean, J-pop, there have been some uh, interspersed uh, voice lines here and there throughout the entire game. It's just rare, and also, like, this is on the PSP. They have 1.4 gigabytes of space to, uh, to work with, and there's a lot of cutscenes. Alex... I don't know why, but I have a feeling that we will meet him again. You're right, now. I feel it too. Luna, let's go. I was beginning to think you'd never ask. Oh, thank goodness. At least the credits have uh, audio to them. So that's it. That is Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Retired Silver Star Harmony. Okay. Whatever, j -Bow. So yeah, I... Like, originally I believe I... Did I rent this? I want to say I rented it originally, but... Um, Eventually, I found it on a game uh, on a website called uh, Trade Games Now, and uh, so I was able to get a copy of it. I don't know where it is at this point, but I think it did come with an art book as well as a um, a map of Lunar. The full edition of it? No, not a PSP game. A PS like a PlayStation game. Um, but yeah, I believe the full edition of it actually comes with, like, cloth bromides, like the same bromides that you find in the game. Thank you for the bits, Zero. But yeah, um, I almost had the opportunity to buy this game, the PlayStation Portable. Unfortunately, I decided not to, and the store that sold that game unfortunately has shut down since then. 
um, a lot of their stock went to another store, and I don't know if that other store has it, but right now I don't have any, any money to buy games anyway. But it was really fun going back through the world of Lunar here. Slightly different, and a little less bullshitty than the, uh, than the PlayStation version because of the whole uh, working designs messing with the formula and reducing the amount of uh, experience and silver that you get from fights pretty much entirely for the uh, rental industry and trying to sell guides and things. Basically capitalism. Um, there is a Lunar 2. It's not available for PlayStation Portable. It's only available for PlayStation one well uh, and, uh, and Sega CD, but the Sega CD version is quite the downgrade. Lunar 2 is in the queue. It will be played at some point. I don't know when it's going to be played. It's not going to be my next pick for sure. Uh, my next pick is already like between two options that uh, shall remain veiled for now. The ever growing list, yeah, exactly. Hey, they, they held hands, okay? You're lucky I didn't censor that, because that is lewd AF. And we're back to the, to the tile screen. So, I have a lot of editing to do for this, because for some reason, I don't know if the patch failed, or if it's just some emissions in the patch itself, or if it's just the wrong version of the ISO that I ended up using. A lot of these cutscenes ended up not having audio to them, and that really sucks. So now I'm gonna have to find audio somewhere else and kind of patch it in and it's really weird that it only happened at the end. Yeah, no kidding. Any dang way. Let's go ahead and press some buttons here so we can end the stream. It's already 2.13. So, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Zero, Ricky, J-Pop, Tyrion, and everyone else who have watched this stream uh, for this series. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle, where we're going to do some more archipelago shenanigans. Archipelago. And um, that takes us around the week, round wheel, to our next uh, long run stream next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, where we are starting Lufia in the Fortress of Doom, as requested by J-Pop. Um, so yeah, that is something that you can do with your doodads that you have lying around. You can request games to be played, and um, right now the cost is 15000 If you're willing to wait until the end of uh, Lufia, then that will go back down to 10000 But just keep in mind, that I will be playing my own selection between Lufia and whatever comes next. And J-Pop, since you are requesting this game, I also invite you to co-com this game, if you so desire to do so. I will be sending you the Discord link uh, by DM later on. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you are on Co's, you can follow me at ColiumZX, and if you want to support me financially, you can go over to uh, liberapay.com slash ColiumZX, 
or uh, I still haven't changed that link, uh, buy me a coffee slash coolumzx um, would be preferable over stream elements, and I have reasons for this. So yeah, that's it. That's all for Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Um, not a whole lot that I left un uh, unchecked, but definitely um, definitely check it check it out if um, if you so choose, because there's probably some secrets that I have not shown. Um, J-pop, you get off work at 5.15. Okay, well, I can start streaming later for the first episode. How's that sound? Because, um, by the way, uh, I'll continue this conversation uh, in a second here. But everyone who's watching the VOD, I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.